Hey, this is Cody Perry with Perry Property Group. We're gonna be talking about in this video series, all things home after the sale that make it your home. So anything from movie theaters to landscaping to interior design, all the stuff that after you buy the home, you put your stamp on it. So in this first episode, we're gonna talk about the man cave, right? I'm a little bit biased because I'm a dude and that was something that was super important to me. So we're gonna talk about the pros and cons, different components as far as receivers, screen size, audio, all that good stuff, the pros and cons of the service that I use, and then maybe you'll have some takeaways when you wanna go do it yourself. All right, full disclosure, I am not the techiest guy out there. So I hired an awesome company based out of Bluff Park called Mr. Man Cave, and they essentially ran the show, recommended products to me uh, that would work for my setup, and I just kind of watched and enjoyed the process. So the first step that I think they took was determining how deep of a room I had and then picked a projector and screen size that worked within that frame. So I knew what size screen I wanted, which was essentially the biggest I could fit in that room. So they helped me pick out you know, what projector worked best, how to mount the screen, all that good stuff. And fortunately for me, I already had, when we bought this house, the audio installed. So we have Polk audio. Um, so I didn't have to have an expense there, so it allowed me to get a little bit nicer of a projector. So the last component is the receiver, which I know pretty much nothing about, but the, the one that I chose allowed me to use Amazon Fire Stick, hook up an Xbox, all the stuff that I needed for me, and then I trusted the rest of the pros to wire it all up, hide it all in a room for me, that way I could just sit back and enjoy it. All right, pros of working with a vendor. Number one, I couldn't have done this on my own, or at least I didn't have the time to figure out how to do all of this on my own. Number two, they definitely would have, you know, definitely did it better than I would have been able to do it as far as the cleanliness of hiding all the cords, making it nice and neat, precise, all that good stuff. Um, one of the cons might be that I probably paid a little bit more than I would have if I would sourced things on my own, but the convenience for me was worth it. Another con would be that I have three remotes, so one for the fire stick, one for the receiver, and then one for the projector. It would be pretty nice to consolidate all that into one remote, which maybe I can do, but I haven't taken the time to figure that out. Obviously hiring a professional is my preferred way to go because if I tried to figure this out on my own, it would be a disaster. Kind of like if I tried to go sell a house on my own without hiring a realtor. So I call it a man cave, but one of the reasons that we wanted one for our house was actually not because of me, it was for the family. It's the second space that we can go. Not in the living room, it's a more special experience now that we're not really going to movie theaters as much as we would like to. So we can go upstairs, have that full experience with the family and just enjoy it together. All right, so thank y'all for spending some time with me and going over how to build a man cave. If you have any questions about how I built mine, feel free to give me a shout. If you don't have a place where a man cave is possible and this is something you want, give me a call, I'd love to find you a new home.